Um, so Holly came into us from a previous owner. Um, they were getting a bit, a bit older, so um, they didn't sort of have, give the top, have the time they, they could give for her. Um, and when she came in, we discovered um, that's something I've never seen before. She's a, a female hermaphrodite dog. This is the first for anyone at the centre. It's, it's just very rare, um, but it doesn't cause her any concern. Uh, it's nothing for the, the vets have checked it. It doesn't cause any discomfort, but it, there can be. It's something that can put off potential adopters. I mean, it, generally, and from an external point of view, it doesn't cause any concern, but. The, the problem with for potential adopters is they, they see there's a stigma around it potentially with insurance, um, they think there might be health issues, um, even though we can give them all the all clear from our vets, it, it's something that just might stick in the back of their minds, it might give them, a, a, in older age it might cause them issues, but it's, it's absolutely fine, she's, she's fine with it and it's something that's not really going to affect her at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've had interest from all around, uh, we even had someone in Denmark uh, register some interest. Um, so it's, it's reached, reached quite far and it's, we've got someone, a potential adopter, sort of come in Friday to visit her. So fingers crossed that all goes well, um, but it's through these media and press reports that we can really get coverage from these dogs that get overlooked in the centre.